He looks like he wants to hiss at me though. It's like a snake. This guy's like, check this guy out. Dude. Don't rub my finger off. It's like doing a death roll <laughs> with your finger. See it in the distance over there. So, so where are we going? Mm, one sea. One sea. We we're gonna, are. We're gonna take a ferry. We are on our way to One Sea train station. Then we're gonna take a ferry to a other side of the lake. And apparently, there's a beautiful area over there where you can have some drinks, some good food, some and traditional I promise German. You guys, if we have Vorsch again today, then I am not gonna go the, out. The chances are highly likely that we're gonna have Vorsch. I'm not having Vorsch today. I'm not gonna have any form of a Vorsch. I'm tired of it. I'm sick. I wish I had my own car. Public transport is killing me. But what? It's killing me. You are ungrateful. Public transport is really not that bad. Mm. For a change, it's not so uh, It's not busy. Hi, it's a beautiful day in Berlin, by the way. Outside. It looks good. Yeah, so probably one of the most frustrating things about using Google Maps and public transport in Berlin. These two yeah, I don't think that's the one we're supposed to take, but Google Maps will tell you that you must stay on a particular bus or train, and then all of a sudden the train or the bus will terminate at a point where you've still got like 50% of your journey to still do. And then so, they say, all passengers, please terminate here, and it's like, but we. And, it, and then it still leaves you in a like a like a pickle <laughs> which you don't know what to do next so now we on our journey to find a new uh, bus so we're now taking a train google has said take a train now so we're on our way quickly to the station train leaves in four minutes we are at Sudarkas. it's Sudkvies Sudkrius. I don't know where you say that, see the Sudarkas. Uh, I think it's called, yeah, Sudkrius. Sudkrius uh, train station. And you can go just about anywhere in Germany from the station. So, yeah, on our way there now. And this is a train station in Germany. Looks almost like an airport. It's pretty. It's a McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, a lotto, yeah, McDonald's, a DM, which is like a clicks. And then you go upstairs, up these super long escalators. Getting our set in. And then you get to the train platform. And then over here, there's like 50 trains that come like every couple of minutes super cool so we gotta find uh, we're taking S41 oh no S46 in one minute yeah so we're taking that one S46 yeah one minute this is us I think we're going, I think we're going one stop. Train doesn't look that busy. Uh, I have no clue what happened there. Okay, so we are going, we must get off at Sconebear. Okay, we just arrived at Sconebear and now we got to find the S1 which departs in two minutes. Come. I think we got to go downstairs. Yeah, that one over there, S1. This one, 2-1-C. 
I think we're going down. <laughs> this station doesn't look as nice as the other one. A lot of graffiti. Pigeon. What are you doing, mate? S1. Which I would assume goes this way. I think this way. Are we going to get a, a croissant? As Can always. One croissant? They do have some very delicious foodies at each train station, really. See, it's like but like the, the pastries are good and the croissant is, feels warm and feels very nice. Fresh. Okay, we gotta hurry. I hear our train. Good. You too. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm not on always like chowing first. No, but you do. You you're a man with an appetite. Oh, it looks very fresh. You need a bit of cheese though. Yum. Cheese and ham. Where's this place? Three minutes. Train arrives in three. Here she comes. One side. This is us. Okay, we are at Wansi train station. And now we've got to find out where to go. I don't know how to There's a lot of people. That one goes to Potsdam. <laughs> yeah, we were in Potsdam the other day for an ice cream. Okay, let's go down to the to the lake. I got no clue which way to go though. The GPS cuts out here. And this way. I just feel it's this way. Ausgang. Aus no, there we go. Theory. So we taking. Uh, we actually saw a video on Instagram of this uh, theory that you can take to the island for free. Well, not for free. For the, the BBG group, which we have tickets for. Yeah. So BBG is not only for buses and trains. It's also for this theory. Yeah. So we don't know where to go, but we are. It looks like we are going on the right way because I'm seeing boats, crews of times over there with graffiti as well. And I think this is the right way. All right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think we should go here. It's so much more peaceful. It's like, it's like Berlin countryside. Beautiful park. Lovely area. I'm not sure if we're going the right way. I don't know if we're going the right way. But that's what exploring is about. No, I think we are going the right way. Because there's like a lake. Um, this side. We have to get somehow down to the station. That's where we go. BBG. Wow. Alrighty. Okay, so we gotta go we down. gotta get down there. So let's go this way. Looks like a lot of people. Our house, eh? Yeah, so we're gonna catch that to the other side. That's what one beautiful thing about uh, Berlin. Is that there are so many beautiful lakes and rivers that pass through the city it almost feels like you're at the ocean and also not just only beautiful lakes and stuff these beautiful parks everywhere yeah and the parks are kept up really nicely so i wonder I, if we i think we go there. straight down it says Tara, which i assume is ferry 
I think this guy posted the video like last week and I think the whole of Berlin saw this video yeah. and they've now decided to use their 49 euro ticket to explore this island but they, the island looks pretty cool because it looks like it's got a couple of beer gardens it's got like a beach area even and though we're not swimming today yeah and it's also cool. um, we apparently take the ferry past a very uh, disturbing building which was the place where the Nazis made the final or discussed the final solution for the Jewish community if I'm not mistaken uh, I think so I don't know I think we got to rush down though because it looks like it's about to leave and I don't know when the next ferry is going so let's let's head down okay We're jogging. <laughs> yeah, I think we're fine. We're good. I think we'll make it. We're not paying the ferryman until he takes us to the other side. Gives me a vibe of like a nice, no waterfront vibe. We've no. I think we might. We might have to take out our tickets, eh? The free tickets on the app. So let's have a look. I think everyone's like bringing their cycling stuff. But I mean, this area over here looks absolutely amazing. Such a beautiful side of Berlin. So majestic. Hey? So what did Google say about uh, the building? It's where the Nazis held the conference to plan the Holocaust. Okay, so somewhere over here along this route we'll see a very historic building. But absolutely it's stunning. Been there since before 1942. Been there since before 1942. It's quite cool today, it's not as warm as what we anticipated, but it is very, very chilly, so we dressed up long. So on that side over there of the lake is the largest inland beach in the world, what? in Europe. <laughs> yes, in Europe. Yeah, sorry, largest inland beach in Europe, meaning it's a beach that is not to buy the ocean. It's pretty big, so if you want to go to the beach, you come yeah, apparently, in Germany. A lot of sailboats out today. Not a lot of people on the beach itself. But I mean, like I said, it, it is very cool today. It's very chilly. The water is probably very cold. So I would There's not someone swimming. swimming. He's doing a cold plunge, I think. All right, so we have arrived in Kladon. Very cool ferry trip. Looks like a stunning area. It's about a 20 minute ferry ride to the side of the island. Very cool. A lot of boats in the water. And then there's a whole bunch of restaurants. Very old side of Berlin so we'll see a lot of traditional old school architecture there must be a cycling trail here somewhere because so many people came with their bicycles yeah I think there's definitely a big cycling trail but such a stunning area like frozen yogurt oh yeah dangerous so we've already found our first shop softies vanilla Choco, yogurt and mango. How much do you have the ice cream? I don't know. Up two euros. It's not too bad. Two euros. Do you want to get ice cream or do you want to go get something else first? I'm going to get that big one for three euros. Are we getting a ice cream or frozen yogurt? Ice cream. I think we should get a vanilla ice cream. Oh, she doesn't have sugar cone. I don't like those cones. 
это в гугле мапки показывают. Знающий какао. А, это знающий какао. Окей. Мы не получаем айскрим еще. Потому что мы спойлили. Мы хотим айскрим. Здесь? Мы тоже не можем пойти в самое первое место, которое мы видим. It just looks so inviting. I mean, let's check here. Yeah, let's check. Let's just check this menu. Steak. Wurst. Nah. I'm not feeling that. There, there we go. Curry wurst. Curry wurst and apparel. That seems to be like the standard thing here. You can find it anywhere. Curry wurst, apparel, and beer. I mean, look. Look how nice this beer garden looks. There we go, Bratwurst. So we are at Emma and Paul's beer garden. Sounds very English. Um, cool drinks, like three euros. Beers, also like three euros. It's not bad, actually. Mm -hmm. Vaina, four euros. Croissants, four euros. Pizzas, ten euros. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's like 200 euros. And then Currywurst made brochen. Three euros fifty. Six euros ten for caribos and fries. Here we go. Here's the ice cream place over there. Oh yeah, we can go in here. Oh yes, you see. Look at this. Very cool. Look at the flavors. It would have helped if I could read the flavor. Mojito, cursed mango, apple flavor. Apple flavor. Oh, it's got alcohol in it. Caramel. Well, let's Vanilla. get a caramel one. Uh, English? Yes. How much for a scoop of ice cream? Uh, one euro fifty. In a sugar cone? Yeah. One euro fifty? Yeah. Can we get a caramel, please, in a sugar cone? Just one. Yes? Yes. That caramel looks pretty good, though. Uh -huh. Thank you. That looks very good. You ain't getting none of this. I bought it, so I'm getting all of it. No, you did not buy it. When you got married, you signed a contract and you said, What's mine is yours, baby. So if that's yours, and then it's also mine. Technically. Okay. I did not think that one through. And we are at Riava because we're going to decide to do a picnic and feed some pigeons. Some pigeons and some ducks at the river. <laughs> so we've got a whole we've got a whole loaf of bread, and we've got yes. the healthy alternative to bread for them. Yes, and it's called some corn. Zutaten. And then we've got this very nice platter with some hams and some olives, some cheese, some bread. And some water. Oh, and protein. Gotta keep the muscles fed. All right, so we just uh, took a lovely stroll up into the, I think it's the city center of Kladau. Beautiful side of uh, Berlin. Like a very old historic town. And I, I think there's a lot of rich people that yeah, live here. Because a lot of money here. Yeah. We see Ferraris and Lamborghinis and some very nice houses. But we had to go get some lunch for the pigeons and <laughs> the ducks and the ducks and we got some snacks because we have decided to do a bit of a picnic on the side of the, the river slash lake. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's salt water. So we're headed down now and just gonna have a relaxing time. You can see some of the older buildings. It's a really beautiful area. Really. And this is where we go down to the lake. And as we head it down now again, you can see all these little beer gardens. It almost feels like we had like a waterfront. And then there's all these little shops and restaurants on the side. But it's super cool though. Because um, very well priced meals. I guess a snitchel for 7 euros 90. 140 rand for snitchel, but such a lovely area. 
And it's not very busy either, which is very nice. And it just feels, it feels almost majestic. Hey? It does, it feels very like, like a holiday kind of place. Yeah, it feels like yeah? very, you've got a lot of like yachts and sailboats on the, on the lake over here. This is where we were earlier. And now we're gonna head down the side here. Just sit on the grass patch and uh, have a little bit of a picnic. And feed some birds and hopefully not get harassed by them. <laughs> I just feel like if we go and sit there, they're definitely gonna fly onto us and onto our lunch. Well, maybe the lunch won't be safe, but they're not that tame, I don't think. You'll see now. I think we're going to cause a bit of a scene here. Coming with a whole loaf of bread and, and a packet of millies. <laughs> I say we sit right there on the, in the grass and just have a pick and we can feed them. We can throw it away from us. So we don't... We don't have a blanket. No blanket. I don't think I want to sit in the shade because it is chilly. I reckon. There's just, there's just so much bird, like shit. I don't want to sit here. I don't want to sit here. Okay. Let's go sit there. They know. So we paid 15 euros. What did we get? Well, we got a loaf of bread. We got some chewies. What is that? It's like a gourmet little platter thingy with different types of meats, breadsticks, cheese, and three freaking olives. Two bread rolls. A can of millies. That that one already knows what's coming. Look at him. He's checking you out. Zutaten. Come guys. Mm -hmm. There's Zutaten. Look at them. And then we got two, Look at the baby. two protein. These are very cool. These are what I've been supplementing instead of using whey protein. It's like 26 grams of protein. Look at this. Millies. Cheese. And then a water. Yeah. We're gonna cause a scene here. I can see them all coming now. Yeah, they come. There comes a crow. Oh, what a good idea to get millies. I don't know if crows eat millies. Well, they're gonna eat now. It smells like sweet corn. It is sweet corn. They check you out. Throw again. There's those, those ones there in the water see you. Throw high so that they can see. Oh. I should go throw for some bait for the babies. No, they're coming. I can feel they're coming. But the babies can't get Check out. Check there, those ones are also checking out now. Oh. Check the babies. You see them? They still have their little baby feathers. Very cute. I think the mealies was a very good idea. I know, it is. They don't, they shouldn't eat bread. It's not healthy for them. Well, we got a whole loaf of bread for them as well. You see the babies? They are so cute. Look at them. And they still make baby sounds. Look at that guy's hairstyle. <laughs> Comes with like a mohawk. No! Don't fight. He's literally ate out your hand. He looks like he wants to hiss at me though. It's like a snake. Spitting cobra. Come. He wants to. Here you go. Come in peace. <laughs> that island on that side there has got so many birds. Stop. You're giving them too much. Money. Throwing bread. Uh, no, stop. You're giving them too much bread. Don't give them so much bread. They love it. Look at that guy. Here we go. Mm. Okay, stop now. Though. Having fun. Okay. <laughs> I think we've gone through like a whole load. Pick this guy. He, he's like, he wants. Look, he's coming right up to me. Here we go. Give him in your hand. Feed him in your hand. Right, I don't know. He doesn't look that great though. He's conditioned. He likes bread. He doesn't want your corn. I hate corn. Give me bread. Uh, this is very cool. 
What a good idea. Okay, we got some bread. Let's take Lefty out your hand. They, they're all coming now, Lev. It's gonna get busy here. This guy's like, check this guy out. He's just like. Look at behind you, James. <laughs> I don't think they like the corn now that they've got bread. Give me a piece of bread, please. The corn is out here. Eat corn. The baby wants to. She wants to be fed though. <laughs> Oh, you know the baby wants to be. So we got a roll there with all the hams. Oh, look at that! We got some. I think that's salami top ham. Prosciutto. Hi, James. Show. And we got this very cute baby. It is right here. Thank you. The mom will pick your brains up. <laughs> Good idea. They come fairy in again. These babies, their mother is there. Here comes the swan. They like the bread. Those babies are so cute. Those ones over there. But I don't want to give it too much because the crows will literally take those babies. Fight or flight over here. There's the mummy. They know, out of all the ducks, they know who their mother is. He's not gonna make it. <laughs> Yum. Hey. Don't leave our stuff like that. The crows will chow it. They were sitting on our stuff. <laughs> Do you ever fed a swan out your hand? No, but I, I did now. <laughs> This thing is big, eh? How does it now feel? It's got a bit of a bigger, harder grip than the other bits. You see? Why are you being so rude? I'm trying to feed you. You're so busy. There. Don't rub my finger off. It's like doing a death roll <laughs> with your finger. <laughs> so we've just finished by the lake. So now he's fed all the her millies and her bread out now, so we are now taking a slow stroll through the little town over here and we'll slowly start making our way back home. Peace out!